All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Atlanta Falcons in tonight's video because you guys just gave up a freaking bag of chips, variety pack, but kind of the bland one, nothing too crazy, no baked glaze in there. Uh, for a third round pick for Matthew Judon, the Atlanta Falcons just traded for a several time Pro Bowl absolute superstar. He's made four Pro Bowls out of his last five years. He probably would have last season but he only played four football games for a third round pick that is absolutely unbelievable folks i am i made a falcons video less than two hours ago i, I probably recorded and uploaded my falcons video less than an hour ago and i'm going here on a walk and i'm at the longest point of the walk and I check my phone and I'm you know, I'm curious how the first how the first 45 minutes of my Falcons video go. Check the comment section. Well, now they're now they're gonna be even better with Matthew Judon. I'm like, what? What? What did I just read? Check my phone. Matthew Judon traded to the Atlanta Falcons. I sprinted back. I felt sick for the last half hour otherwise this video would have been up 30 minutes ago um but here we are man we're talking atlanta falcons welcome back to the channel two in one day two for one special and yeah hit that like button hit that sub button for daily nfl content and you know who knows two, maybe sometimes two falcons videos a day uh falcons fans who could try and get this video to 250 likes that would mean the absolute world to me so real quick before we get into judon the falcons defense in my opinion is extremely underrated however they only had 42 total sacks last season that was bottom 10 in the national football league or technically bottom 11 in the national football league they were not the best rush defense uh, but they did have a pretty solid statistical pass defense so they needed a little bit more help on the defensive line now I actually about an hour ago I said you know I am intrigued by the Falcons defensive line because there's cats like David Onyemata right Grady Jarrett I mean these, these are a couple of dogs here you got Zach Harrison down there I think the Falcons defense in general is very underrated but this trade just gave you a legitimate stud and so we take a look at Matthew Judon um he's a stud lineman I'm telling you, man, this guy's a freaking stud linebacker. He's going to fit in perfectly with most likely Lorenzo Carter, Caden Ellis, and Troy Anderson. I'm really curious what it's going to look like. But Matthew Judon, folks, two years ago, his last fully healthy season with the New England Patriots, start or played in 17 games. He had two forced fumbles. 15 and a half sacks, 60 total tackles, and 28 quarterback hits. The year before that, 12 and a half sacks, 25 quarterback hits. He's always been a stud. Um, he's only been in New England for three years now and you know, pretty much only played two full seasons there. Back at Baltimore, even back all the way to 2019, 14, or sorry, he played in all 16, started in all 16 games. He had four forced fumbles, 54 total tackles, nine and a half sacks. And obviously that's a really good statistic, but I think just because of today's era, when you think of like, you know, edge rushers or defensive linemen or just any defensive player, a lot of guys just look at sack count. And then obviously Madden's a thing. And you look at Matthew Judon's nine and a half sacks and you're thinking, oh, he's a good football player, but he's not a superstar. Well, that season he had 33 quarterback hits and that was his first of his soon to be four consecutive Pro Bowl appearances. This thought just randomly came into my head here. It reminds me kind of similarly to the Chicago Bears trading for Montez Sweat at last year's deadline. Now that, you know, because we're on the topic of it, I mean, the Bears defense is a solid group. All right. If you're not familiar with it, it's a very young group. They did bring in a couple of veterans at the linebacker position a couple of years ago, but they were missing, you know, like a proven stud, right? And they really needed help with edge rushing, and they really needed, needed help with just getting to the quarterback at a consistent level in general. And so they traded for Montez Sweat last year's trade deadline. The Chicago Bears were the best scoring defense in the National Football League from last half, or sorry, midway through, you know, at the trade deadline to the end of the season. I am just spitballing here because once again, I mean, this trade just happened. I've been, you know, trying to not yak for the last half hour. This is just, it's the definition of a needle mover. And, you know, Matthew Judon is a little bit up there in age. Um, and, you know, he played four football games last season, but he had a huge contract stalemate with the New England Patriots. And so you know, he requested a trade. He wanted to get out of there, but 
you know, kind of similar, not really similar to Brandon Ayuk, but just kind of, you know, a similar situation with, you know, T. Higgins and it happens every single year, whether you're a receiver or a linebacker or a quarterback or whatever, you know, cats hold out. We just saw Jordan Love. Cats hold out and teams, I feel like typically, you know, don't want it to get into middle of August, a.k.a. when one preseason game's been played by now and, you know, the cats are still holding out. As you just saw with Brandon Ayuk, you know, coming up to San Francisco's camp in um, Niners gear. So you want it to be figured out quickly. And um, I just did not really expect Matthew Judon to be traded at any point in the offseason. But I guess technically we began the season now. But you get what I'm saying here, folks. The Atlanta Falcons, and I just I'll reiterate what I said in earlier today's video because this this one will be you know more interesting to folks. You've got a really weak schedule, and you have a brand new quarterback in Kirk Cousins. You drafted Michael Penix Jr. So your quarterback situation hopefully is set for the next 10 years at least, right? Hopefully in the next decade, a Falcons quarterback play is set. You have a relatively weak schedule. Now, as I always say on this channel, I take schedule strength with a grain of salt because a lot of stuff changes, like this Matthew Judon trade. I mean, the Atlanta Falcons, you get what I'm saying. Teams get better, teams get worse. Players acquire players, they cut players, guys progress, guys, guys regress. But you have a weak schedule, and most of your, like, kind of in-between games, like, it could go either way against good opponents. Like, I mentioned Dallas at home in our last video. They're all at freaking home. All of your in-between games are at home. You have... One of the best offensive lines in the National Football League. I, I mentioned Dakota Prescott going 13 and three in his in his rookie season with a phenomenal offensive line. And obviously, even though Kirk Cousins is coming off a of torn Achilles, you know we've seen Captain Kirk, and we know Captain Kirk's one of the better or at least more consistent quarterbacks in the National Football League. And then, you know, obviously, you have the most obvious one. You're in a weaker division. Now, I don't want to throw any shade to a team like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And you know, Carolina's got, you know, I, I do like that they picked up Dave Canales for their head coach. I actually like Bryce Young, but I'm just a football fan. What do I know? And then the Saints. I made a nice Saints joke. Go check that out. But anyways, everything's just kind of in place for Atlanta this season. And Matthew Judon like just flipped the whole script. I already thought Atlanta was one of the better teams in the NFC. You know, obviously, if you win the division, you're going to be a top four team. But I don't know why they can't compete with some of the best in the NFC in general. So, A plus, a third round pick. Is this a joke? A third round, you get trade to the third round pick for Matthew Judah. Come on, folks. This is a Madden trade. Come on. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Give me a grade down below. I have a feeling what it's going to be uh, in a positive way. But thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. We'll see you.